could have found me. No, I'm not staying in the pack of the sun's brightest. Okay, it's in my bright in my eyes. So I'm squinting like an old lady. Anyway, first off, I want to start this by saying, you know, every morning when I wake up, even just when I, you know, turn my phone on and put my, you know, huge ears, earphones on, and these are colour, by the way, they're crazy. Anyways, um, 25 bucks for a camera. Uh, anyway, the, the, like, download the song or listen to the song. This is the song that gets me, ooh, it gets me pumping. It's called Alive by Little John, uh, Offset and Two Chains. Fuck, listen to it, man. Ooh. Anyways, um, I just wanted to have it real quick as, you know, I always say quick, but next minute. But I wanted to have a quick as talk about, um, another topic that I kind of think is, or thought, yeah, no, I do, I think, that it's important, and it's about it, and, you know, my mate, she, um, I was talking to her the other day, and I started to feel like Oprah, but I love it, you know, what's a Māori word for Oprah, I don't know, Miriamma, no, I don't know, Leah Pānapā from Vera Lipa, anyways, um, Oh, it's about, um, you know, physical and emotionally unstable relationships. And I, you know, if, we, if you're Māori chick into your, like, third relationship, guarantee that, you know, one of those three was physically or emotionally unstable. You know, and I'm just saying, I'm just going to say, you know, when there's children involved, that's a whole nother thing of all day, you know. And, um, and I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, beat around the bush, I never do, you know. But um, I'm just gonna say that um, if you are in a physically abusive relationship or if you are in a emotionally, because sometimes psychological abuse is 10 times, you know, that's how I think. A bruise, fucking hell, that goes away in a week, you know, if you did a good job. But, you know, the psychological abuse, it lingers around for fucking years. So, with these kids involved, it's simple. You know, don't be selfish. Put your fucking feelings aside. Put your man's feelings aside. And think for your children. Because nine times out of ten, the kids are too young to even understand what the fuck's going on. But you aren't. You know what's going on. You know it ain't healthy for the kids. You know, you're not dumb. We're not dumb. You know, and, you know, I'm... And so, put your feelings aside, put your man's feelings aside, and think for your kids. You, you think, you know, fucking hell, if my kids could talk, you know, what would they say? What would, they want? What would their advice be? And, you know, you know that their advice would be, fuck, instead of growing up watching, you know, watching dad smash the fuck out of you, why don't you just leave and then we could have went and had happy weekends with dad and, and had happy weeks with you, you know? Because, um... You know, it's not a sad thing when a relationship, you know, doesn't work. Straight up, we're not going to, I know, you know, you all know, surely you know by now that everything I say, I'm only saying from my experience. You know, the, the selfish ones are like, uh, trying to make the relationship work and using, you know, the children as the excuse. Don't use the kids as an excuse, bro. You know, because you're doing more damage to them by staying in that relationship than you are doing good, you know, like, um, I had to make a few decisions, you know, when I was, when I, fucking flows, every time I fucking come here, anyway, I had to make a few decisions, you know, um, and it was hard for me, you know, um, with my children and, and my husband, you know, their father, we, when we finally decided, you know, that, that, that it was best that we, you know, went our ways. You know, and all I wanted to do every night was, you know, I was thinking, fuck, you know, I ain't going to bed by myself. But I thought, you know, that's not a good enough reason to put out, to subject my children to, to more than they've already been subjected to. And so if I was lonely at night, boom, go and jump in bed. I've got, you know, three children to pick, to cuddle up to. I've got three options to cuddle up to, you know. And um, there were some nights, you know, my kids would cry themselves to sleep because they miss their dad. And you know, those nights were fucking hard, eh? But all I kept thinking was, you know, fuck you kids, you know, you're going to be better, 
You're gonna be thinking that when you're older. You're gonna be thinking that when you're older. You know, and then they were harder. So. But, um, you know, I know if you're in a physically abusive relationship, psychologically abusive relationship, you know, and um, everyone says, you know, you need to leave. I'm, I'm just doing this. I'm not trying to advertise smoking because, you know, it's not good, but I'm just trying to block this. Um, yeah, you know, and your friends, they're like, oh, you know, you need to fucking leave. You need to fucking leave. And it's like, yeah, better, you know, easier said than done. But it is, it can be done, you know, it can be done. When me and my husband decided to, you know, that to go our ways, and I'm not going to go into detail because, you know, some shit's private. But um, when me and my husband decided to go our ways, how the fuck was I going with that? Oh, bro, that's how bad of my memory is. And I'm going to blame the drugs on that. No, it's fully gone. It's fully gone. Fuck, oh, I'm terrible. Um, so I'm not going to keep trying to think. But yeah, so, you know, long story short, it's hard as it is. Um, it's got to be done. You know, you know, all the times, you know, all the times you're sitting there like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Dig down. You know what you want to, you know what you need to do. You know? You already know. It's just taking that fucking step. You know, maybe in some situation, you know, I've met a few people that, you know, if they decided to up and leave, fuck, you know, they know that, uh, especially if they're, they're not the breadwinner, you know, if the man's the breadwinner, you know, you kind of feel like, man, if I leave, fuck, I've got nothing. I'm going to have to start from scratch. Well, I'll tell you what. I'd rather be happy and broke than unhappy, you know, and uh, you know, have a house and have somewhere to live and have someone to cuddle up to. I don't know that you think that they're cuddling up to, you know, to whoever. Anyway, so, yeah, it's hard, you know, don't get me wrong, it's hard, but hey, fucking hell, I did it with three babies, three babies, three kids under five. You know, and I did it. You know, I fucked up afterwards. I did it. You know, so I, oh, I have. There was a brief moment that I was proud of myself, and then, uh, yeah, then my son died. Then it all just went downhill, uh, downhill. But um, you know, it can be done. It can be done. It's not. It's straight up. It's uh, you know, and all the the longer you sit there contemplating, you know, contemplating something you already know the answer to, just remember every minute that, you know, every minute that you're sitting there contemplating is another minute that your children are being subjected to, to that abuse, you know, and don't be, don't be naive, you know, don't be silly, you get the bash today and you think, you know, to, you know, a week later you're, you're hearing the the same apology you've heard 50 times and you think, you know what, I think, you know, he said please in this round, so I, I definitely think he meant it. Yeah. Come on, wake up. Anyway, um, but, you know, I know it's harder said than done, but I've done it. So, just like, um, you know, losing all the weight and, and trying to fucking love yourself all over again. So, living walking proof right here, you know, it can be done, it'll be fucking hard, you know, but shit, I love a challenge, you know, life would be fucking boring without challenges, and realistically, you know, this, when these children are born, that's a huge fucking, that's a huge deal, you know, if it's just you, yeah, you can sit there and contemplate whether or not to leave with us, you know, and you can take 10 years. But, you know, it's the kids, it's the kids, and, um, you know, like I said, psychological abuse lingers for fucking years, and those children don't have a, a choice whether they want to be subjected to that, that abuse, you know, you, you've got to make that decision for them, you're the parent, and that's why you're the parent, because, 
you know, it's, it's up to you whether or not to make the right decisions for your children, not for yourself, fuck you, you know, shit, plenty of fish in the sea, but, you know, for your children, and trust me, you know, your children, they'll, they'll thank you when they're older, you know, you might not think it now, but you know that they will, they don't want to see that shit, and you know that, anyway, just sort of get that off my chest, and to, you know, my girl that, you know, you know who you are, I hope that helps, say, because you know, you know what you need to do. Well, I love you anyway, and I love you, you know, all of these. So, you know, put the kids first. All right, then.